Okay, I wanted to document an uh, interesting find while researching the internet for different Slayer circuits and uh, Tesla coil solid state circuits. I came across Laser Saber's uh, YouTube page and he was showing a jewel ringer and I noticed that the ringer circuit and the Slayer circuit were almost identical except for the little resistor that goes between the base and the collector. And so I kind of built a hybrid that has a little touch switch here that'll momentarily turn it on from a Slayer and then when I release it, it becomes a ringer. And I've got some interesting results from that. Uh, this is just a simple Tesla coil, some copper tubing from any hardware store. I didn't have to cut it or anything. It was already pretty much in this shape. I just kind of made it into a cone styled Tesla coil, uh, secondary coil, just some scrap wire that I salvaged from a TV. While on that one counterclockwise and the primary is clockwise. Um, really doesn't matter. You just have to switch your power input and your power outputs if you get the circuit running. Uh, transistor, I've messed with a bunch of different ones. The 2N3055 worked really well, but this one worked just a little bit better, a little more efficient. So I kept that one instead. Just a little transistor that I stole out of a television. And then I got my LEDs showing the power working. And then I got my little power supply right here, set at one amp, and we'll start at 14 volts. So, turn the power on, and to get the circuit ringing, I push the button. You see the lights come on. That's a Slayer circuit, and then as soon as I release it, that's the ringer. And you'll notice the LEDs bright brighten up. Uh, you can adjust this wire here to different settings to find your tuning. I find that the third coil works best for this circuit or on this setup. I got my little car antenna coming off the top that kind of increases the field or range where it magnifies these LEDs and there it goes, turns on, lights up really well. The inside is just a little bit dimmer than the outside. There it goes, activated it. So I really like this circuit. It really works good for the wireless transmission. It barely uses, you can set it down, it still stays powered up. It uses just 0.3 amps. And whenever I hook up the scope, I'll get that on a different video. You can actually see that it gets some kickback through the, the uh, power wire here. So you get some resonating even through there. And it might have some effects on a battery that would be different than with a traditional power supply. But it's pretty interesting. Uh, you can also get some really good corona effects if you don't have the antenna on here. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, so here is without the antenna, just my wires coming off the top. And you can see right there just a little bit of corona. If I get close you can get some more of them. Kind of gives it some ground that it attracts to. You can also smell the ozone coming off there really well. The uh, interesting thing about the ringer is that if you get too close you can mess up the capacitance in the system and it'll stop oscillating. So it's a really good safety precaution to keep you from getting shocked. You'll notice if I get too close it'll set off the circuit and it won't work anymore. So I have to re go down here and jump start it. And that's different than the Slayer circuit. The Slayer circuit, that little resistor will stay powering on the whole time. And you can sit here and burn your finger. There it goes. There's Corona. Get a little bit of a ringing. And then it short circuits. So the, while this is good for wireless transmission, uh, other things like a spark gap, set up it wouldn't work too well unless you could get it to keep oscillating but anyway it's a nice little setup get this going again yeah, it still lights up not quite as bright it's kind of a bigger range 
I don't know, it seemed to work better with the antenna for wireless transmission. Yeah, and it goes off over there. Anyway, that's what I've kind of been working on. Uh, I really like this little switch setup. It makes it a lot easier to start self-oscillating. I know Laser Saber was having some problems getting it started by just t touching it or tapping it, and then it would start working, which I had success with that as well, but then this little switch idea just made it a lot easier for me. So anybody out there having trouble with Slayer circuits, uh, I would recommend installing this little device just to help you out. You can experiment with different transistors as well. I'll keep you guys tuned in if I come across anything else.